Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Delve Chanel's 40th World is where you're at and where you're going to be entertained. Remember to watch my videos from the beginning to end because I do drop gems. And I try to make you laugh in between my commentary. But y'all, girl, this girl, Candy Girl, you are my world. You love so sweet. It's a special treat. Yeah, honey. I bet this top, this top be singing this song all the time. Because this girl, she's a hustler. She's a runner. She's a track star. No, honey. This woman has landed a recurring role on a... I'm thinking it's a newly developed show that's presented on All Black. And that pretty much stands for All Black actors and actresses that are a part of the streaming service $4.99 similar to all the streaming services out there like Peacock is one but I refuse to see crap that I have to look at and I'm gonna pay for it hell I'm already paying for cable so that's enough of that but this um streaming service um is basically like what BET used to be for black entertainment until some white or British company bought them out. Because little do y'all know, BET is not owned by blacks anymore. No, no, no. The Johnson family kind of like ran through it, got tired of it, and sold it. Okay? And it wasn't to one of us. Not if one of us was trying to buy it. I'm just letting you know it's not black owned anymore. Okay? But this streaming service is all about the blacks. Okay, they feature original movies, um, those who like the nostalgic type of films or drama series or comedy or black films. They have the popular black TV shows they're developing. And it's more, more so like short films, uh, stand-up comedies, drama, documentaries, uh, stage plays. And, you know, of course, the stage plays are full of comedy. Comedy. Okay, but it's called a la carte. Okay, uh, and a new comment to the show is Robin Lee. That's her. Of course, we have Candy Burris. All right, surprise. Yes, yeah, she's on a network now. Other than something ratchet like Real Housewives of Atlanta, just showing women just, you know, cutting up. And everything's supposed to be like their reality in their real life. But we know that's scripted. But that's uh, those are the newcomers to the show. Y'all know y'all remember Dorian. He was Mr. Ogilvy. Okay. Now, I don't know. They're trying to say Kelly Price was in the park. Because I don't remember. Maybe she was. I just can't remember her, y'all. And then, I don't know what show Robin um used to play in but she's giving me a tease of soap opera world so soap operas in back in the day i used to watch but i'm really really not sure but once i get into this article that deadline put out on these cast members these newly cast members being simulated into this show called a la carte okay and the story is written by alexandria de la rosa and she put it out on December 7th. Well, let's go all into it. Let's get into it. All right. Can y'all believe Candy, girl? Candy be hustling. And that's one thing I can't take take from her. Lord knows she can't sing. I don't care who want to sit up there and tell me. Nah, all them Scott sisters. And even, um, uh, what's her name? Tiny can throw a little tune here and there. Okay, we can listen to her. But Candy, no, 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 not my Candy girl. Uh-uh, she's a doo-wop girl. Put her in the back. Whatever. But, you know, Candy has always been saying that was her group, this, that, and the third. I'm like, no, pretty much it's all y'all because all y'all were in the group. So, let's not be individual. Let's not like we got stardom and we uh, are the, you know, somebody like Beyonce, you know, frontliner. Or um, who else out there? God, I, I just went blank. Uh, Keisha Cole's. Or hell, even Kelly Price, you know what I'm saying? These people can sing, you know what I'm saying? Sing a cappella and turn it out. Whitney Houston, the voice, she's no longer here with us, but we're talking about singers. Aretha, you better think. 
Think about what you're trying to do to me. Yeah. Think, think, think. Yes, how to let your mind go set you free. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's when Kelly was big. I don't think she's just big anymore. I think she's going to slim down a lot. But I couldn't really. I, I was kind of rushing with the video. Because, you all know, I love my visuals to help me co-host my show. So, y'all understand what I'm saying. Y'all can have a visual to match what I'm saying and who I'm talking about. But, yes, honey. Cool Candy is making waves out there. I'm telling you, she's doing similar um, feats like um, Nene tried to do when she wanted to leave Housewives <laughs> and call herself wanting to venture out to other avenues. And I think um, Candy was actually also uh, meeting with a uh um uh, uh, act well a person that could help her with her acting skills so she doing the right thing she doing the right thing and she may may get me interested in covering her on this show so i might pay my money for a streaming service for all black entertainment you know what i'm saying because we got to support our own hey who else gonna support us if we don't do it now don't come in my comments to my support Portia book because that's that's blasphemy that's a hellacious if i touch that book it'll probably burn up in flames okay because it's got too much lies and deceit and deception up in there so no i can't support Portia on that Portia pursuit book and you know from what tisa tells it's a hot mess it is a hot mess but she likes it she likes it that deep she goes deep with it and that's just her i get kiki out of her i i love her emanation a uh, little um jiffy she used or i don't know what it's really called my daughter's not upstairs where she should tell me what what type of thing that is if anybody know in the comments let me know okay but yeah yeah baby <laughs> okay that book is a hot mess but i ain't endorsing it and i'm not telling you to go over there and buy it but the all black streaming service you might want to take a peek at it um, like I said, they have interesting shows on there. None that I've ever seen. But they're written and produced by. And they're on its own network being black owned. Okay. But um, yeah, check it out. Check it out. Because Candy is on that show. Okay. And Candy thought about this stuff like. Uh -oh, Real Housewives of Atlanta is going down. It's like the Titanic. We don't hit an iceberg. And we're going to be falling out like flies. So I need to like secure my foot in some other doors, some other avenues. Because I don't know if Candy is still out there in New York producing her stage play. We're not producing it, but uh, keeping it out there, advertising it, you know, using it on her platforms. Or, you know, talking with other people up there in New York in the entertainment business. You know, you know what, what is going on with her color thoughts or color man thoughts play that she helped produce anybody got any feedback on it how was it you know was it you know i don't know aretha you saying it's lies 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 but I, you know i don't know that's what candy said too when they were trying to put her that sex dungeon on her and all this other stuff and whitney kind of looking perplexed too but hey whitney she did not get a role with singing cat you really know why you know why she can't because she a doo-wop girl okay she in the back so i'm just ecstatic that she wanted to act or do something else other than singing because god knows she can't sing. i don't care what nobody say y'all gonna be fighting with me until the sun come up and and, and, and the sun go sitting okay because no candy can't do it can't can't, can't do it now i had the best people out there now we were like no ma'am Go find some other talent. You're cute. You're a boss. You love to own stuff. Go do something like that. Yeah, Cat Candy does own a lot of businesses around here in Atlanta, okay? And I think she's just buying up stuff just for the hell of it. Uh, and then she's going to sell it off when some prime people come in and want to scoop up, you know, the property. So that's a good way of thinking and a good way of uh, spreading your portfolio around with the money candy ain't no fool except for when she got herself want to be married because you know between her and Todd, they swing they swing they swing and the part that she plays her character is called nicole child nicole is a owner of a sex toy shop okay now, don't that fit candy right up in the alley that who would do it then madame uh or madam 
uh candy birds okay because she's up in that burlesque thing yeah that's what i'm talking about thoughts of a colored man how that's going for her on broadway y'all let me know y'all let me know if y'all into that type of theater um exposure okay but going back to the article okay i just want to give you know because people always say i don't be giving people they they uh hands up and claps you know and stuff when they're achieving and doing things i just said i don't like the wretchedness that they put on tv and i have to watch it on my screen okay i know you, you be saying you ain't gotta watch you gotta watch but you know my curiosity kills the cat all the time i gotta see what my black folk doing over there if they acting kosher or they or acting like they got some sense or they just trying to make this dollar and th- what they doing is just ratchet and, and they ain't you know letting my mind be filled with good stuff you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't want candy to be on this show no more you know what i'm saying i want her to move on and do other interesting things show your growth you can't stay on one platform unless you just greedy for the money you know what i'm saying and i'm trying to see which one candy is is she greedy for that money or is she trying to cover all her bases in the entertainment field because we know we don't want her singing we don't want to hear we don't want to hear so we should have been there doing that for a while now from what i understand she's a good writer okay but she collaborates a lot as well so it's not like she's getting the money all to herself so she got that in her pocket she producing now and she knows i think she just want to harness in her acting skills and i'm there for her. i'm there for her. i ain't never really watched her self for her on this reality show and she ain't giving me nothing it's just like i can forget about her you know in a heartbeat because she's not that interesting you know what i'm saying it's like a a, a, a bump on a log as your parents would say or you know you can be having some interesting stuff go on and you ain't really got to hear from Candy. Like, you know, I wouldn't miss Candy. is what I'm saying. If she was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, no more. I wouldn't miss her. Now, uh, Nene, I wouldn't miss because, you know, it's just she gave me uh, kikis and laughter. Kim Soziak did the same thing for me. Do I really, really like them? No, I don't like the character that they play, but I don't really know them to know them. You see what I'm saying? It's just their actions. But what Nene gives us on TV is pretty much what she plays out in real life. But she don't give her up okay about nobody approaching her like you know she probably one of them divas where she'll request the public not to look at her and i'm like why not girl somebody like she up there with michael jackson and j-lo and when they have to walk in a room and prince as well they don't want nobody looking at them i'm like do y'all got something to hide y'all got a booger in y'all nose or something you know you ain't walking right because you had some rough sex or what you got a demon and you don't want it to show out and we be uh taking pictures and be you know talking about what's what going on with these the celebrities want to be celebrities you know what i'm saying stars okay why did they get into this vein this where they don't want people to see them but they sitting up there want to be on stage okay and millions of people are looking at y'all. I, I just don't understand. I'm going to digress now so I can get into this article. Okay, but going back. um, And for those who say, you know, they can't watch my videos because I be doing a lot of body uh, things like with my sniffing and my coughing. Hell, I can't help it. And then I have to talk a mile a minute uh legibly or audibly so y'all can understand because we're taping and everything's going fast you know when we're looking at how long we've been on a particular subject you know my screen show me everything and sometimes i get long-winded and i don't care because i you know y'all have to take me in small doses you know my you know my videos long so it's it's no uh tea in that okay you just have to take me in small doses you can't watch me all the time you know straight through okay just edit something you know like watch five minutes watch ten minutes then give a break watch it another day you know until you got the full effect of my video okay but i suffer from sinuses okay so when i talk and i breathe you know when you're talking a mile a minute you have to you know in in engulf some air and exhale you see what i'm saying person be done got light head and fell on the floor y'all be like where'd she go <laughs> i'm on the floor unconscious need oxygen baby okay i just can't get back up on my microphone and tell you so you know be be uh cautious of that and you know i just want to tell you yes i have a deviated deviated septum and i suffer from sinuses uh bad sinuses and congestion all year round okay um i'm in georgia while the trees the pines and the mo all this stuff okay we in clay dirt we, we say the dirt aside we really mean that hot humidity everything is 
you know everything down here when it's cold it's cold when it's hot it's hot when it's muggy it's muggy okay just see what it is so when y'all hear me sniffle y'all help me um hear me breathe loud bear with me okay bear with me because you're only here to just hear me laugh and laughter is good for the soul then you take your butts to bed okay or wherever you got to go all right good got it we moving on so going back to the article that was printed up through deadline it's an exclusive of course it is not many people are talking about it but i'm pretty sure they will be uh talking about it once they get off talking about what is really happening in the mainstream what we've been regurgitating day after day week after week month after month okay because it ha helps our algorithm of the people that we mostly talk about all the time and the sad thing about it they group us in one category and our videos don't really get out there but to the ones that like what we're talking about okay because i'm still trying to break in doing other celebrities but it seems like a lot of people like certain things from me and i understand i'm still gonna keep pushing forward on different things because i like talking about the white folk i like talking about the jewish folk i like talking about my own black folk i like talking about all nationalities if you're cutting up and you're acting foul and i uh kind of like you I'm going to probably talk about you. Say, now, this is not what you presented to me when I first came across you, okay? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you keep going down a really, really dark path, I may not watch you <laughs> anymore, okay? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we go into the exclusive. It says, all black Ayla Carte has added Candy Burris, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Robin Lee from Being Mary Jane. That's where I know her from, Robin Lee. But I still think I know her from a soap opera era back in the day. But, uh, okay. Then we have the uh, notorious Kelly Price with her vocals. Now, that's just me, not in this latest article. And see, Claire Hustle, Felicia Rashad is pleased with the lineup. Okay? Well, Rita said, you better think. You better think what you're doing, Candy. And these other artists out here getting on this show, is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. So, I had to dig a little deep and see. But Prince said, anything but singing for Candy Birds. Anything but singing. Okay? Because she was like, mm -mm, that ain't your forte, baby. Don't get up here and make a fool out yourself. And so, she did find something better. She's acting now. And I think, I think if she gets a part in a major movie, it pays more than uh, artists that sing. Okay? I think it does, y'all. That's why everybody want to act. Okay? But Whitney is, you know, proud proud of candy too finding something else to do okay am i telling lies Riri? you think i am <laughs> okay read the self telling lies over here okay but moving on from my visuals it says um dorian wilson you know he's basically uh don't think about him like that with it don't think about him like that cat don't be saying why the man still need to work but he was known as uh mr ogilvy on the parkers okay the one monique uh or miss parker was trying to chase after okay uh on that show and that was the supporting cast of the alicarte uh sitcom i guess drama sitcom that's going to be playing on all black okay they would join stars such as pauline dyer jesse Wu, kendall canal jenny nolan and courtney burrell I didn't get flicks or pictures of those people because I don't know who they are. If I get interesting, uh, interested enough and I do the subscription, I may come back with who these people are that originally started the show. Um, Ella Carte and they just needed more characters for, I guess, the um, show itself. Okay. It says the series hails from Brianna Hogan and executive producer Dijon Talton and Megan Good. Created by Hogan, the series follows Mahogany, Rose Dyer, an overachiever in her 20s who's high, who's had high moral standards for her entire life until now. After adopting a more liberal approach to sex and dating, she finally lands the man of her dreams, Caleb Burrell. Um, there's just one problem. He's already spoken for Accustomed to being number one, Mahogany must decide if she will stick to her preference of being the one and only or step out of her comfort zone and learn to play number two. Now, see, that's what's wrong, with going, that's what's going wrong in this world now. Why everybody want to be a side uh, chick or if, it, you know, if it's a male uh, in the same 
same sex relationship you know why you want to be second best or if you're a lesbian why would you want to be second best or if you're in a heterosexual um relationship why would you want to be second best why do you want to be the side piece i mean they they, they think ah oh, it's, it's like what's wrong is right what's right is wrong now you don't supposed to be no side piece that's the wrong thing that's adultery that's infringing on somebody else's property okay if they're married now if they're just dating casually and they haven't committed to one another then i guess you really wouldn't be cheating but when you become a monogamous relationship and you want to be unless you don't set the tone well we're gonna have a threesome and it's just gonna be us three we don't need nobody going outside this triangle or if you're in a monogamous relationship we don't need you coming out the circle okay that's just how i feel okay but anyway um that's pretty much what the character was playing she wants to think she may be number two okay instead of being number one i tell you this world going to hell going to hell in the handbasket okay but it says Bur burris joins the cast as nicole okay nicole a confident and unconventional beauty whose sex positive free spirit nature leaves her open to whatever life brings her way Okay, don't it sound like a Jezebel spirit? Don't it sound like a Jezebel spirit, y'all? Candy, okay? Burris. But she right up in her alley. She's the burlesque queen in Atlanta. Okay, with all her advertisement of her sex toys and this, that, and the third. I'm guessing it's still going well for her. I never partaked in any of her trinkets because I don't need them. I don't need them. Uh, but I'm guessing they're doing real well. She didn't say anything really on the show except when Andy wanted to have a burlesque reunion. And then she spiced things up. And when Cynthia wanted to, well, they wanted to have something interesting for Cynthia's wedding uh, shower. Uh, Candy did the burlesque uh, motif look. And she's supposed to be the madam. The person was in charge of the pain or the pleasure. <laughs> okay, so this character she's paying uh nicole it's right up her alley okay and i'm intrigued to even think what she would do with this part so that's why i'm saying i am on the fence but i have to look into it again but it's 4.99 okay um then it says nicole is very wise well uh, uh, let's go back she's the owner of a, a local sex shop okay nicole is very wise and very well informed during the series she builds a connection with mahogany close friend misha taylor woo okay encouraging her to explore experiences beyond her perceived limitations so i'm thinking this whole scene uh, or character um candy is supposed to be trying to translate to is a lesbian type relationship but again she just fits her right up the alley because she's bisexual okay not by me saying it she admitted it herself she has no restraints when it comes to who she want to love on all right but I hope she ain't in the bestiality. And that's when, you know, I'm already cutting ties already with her antics and how she get down. But, you know, if she really want to explore and mess with the animals, then I'm, I'm going to really have to cut off. Just stop doing uh, commentary on her because I can't. I can't. I can't. Certain things I just won't touch. And some things I will touch, as y'all know, because y'all seen my videos. But, you know, hurting and oh, re rehab rehashing other stuff. Like, I learned about a lot about um, Diane, Portia's mom. They used to have a, a daycare center that she ran. And it was all in the news. It's going back real, real late. Uh, like, 2015, 2015, 2017. They had a um, daycare center and the state closed them down because a child actually died. And their uh daycare center that they were um um Portia and her were owning at the same time back then so uh look into it but I, you know I, mm -mm, I i don't like dredging up people's past and if they don't got over it, the other people don't got over it, ain't no sense of me you know getting in for, uh, involved with doing none of that but that was sad and i thought about doing something on it i said no nah, i'm gonna leave that alone but those who want to go and pry and, and see what i'm talking about uh just look her up google her diane t williams daycare and you'll see a, a plethora of stuff would come up on her and Portia. And they said she, uh, Diane was worth one million. And I'm like, w what is Diane doing though? Because she retired right now. Only kids that she watching is um, well, probably Bailey sometime for Lauren. And she watching her baby girl, granddaughter, um, PJ. So child, I don't know. 
I guess I need to say allegedly too what I just told y'all but it's really in the newspaper so it's not really allegedly it was out there and Portia somehow got sued as well uh, for I don't know some fees or something that was uh, around that 24 hour daycare center that her and her mom were partaking in but that's not here nor there we, we on Candy Burris and uh, what she's doing to make her world shake okay but like i said i'm not gonna really go into it too much uh further than just announcing and saying congratulations to candy uh going up there with the award-winning black cast uh because i guess oh shoot man i don't know what role um they didn't say really what role um kelly price was playing in this uh particular article so i guess it was just really about showcasing candy and candy being the sh um what do you call it the current uh celebrity that's out there that's going to draw in the crowd um because they're just really telling you the scenarios that are going to be played within this show and that was pretty much all of it guys so i just wanted to you know hey Y'all congratulate Miss Candy. And maybe she has it on her Instagram account. Or her Facebook. But let her know I gave her the thumbs up. The green light. Like I like that. I like that. That she's moving into an area. That she wants to hopefully dominate one day. Because when you think of Candy Burris. Personally I think of Escape. As a doo-wop girl. Then I give her other claim to fame. The Housewives. Okay. In that order, <laughs> as Mama Day, Mama D used to say. All right, but y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more of these videos. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, and then you'll know when I upload videos. Also, don't forget to share my videos, guys. Share, 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 and like them, please. Like my videos. All right, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, bye.